I visited Big Blue Bubble and told them to remove Sponge from my singing monsters. The title of the video isn't wrong, I really did visit Big Blue Bubble and then told them to remove Sponge from my singing monsters. Here is a little video about my trip all the way to London, Ontario to visit the office of Big Blue Bubble. Many of you know I'm actually Canadian and I do live in Canada. What I didn't know is that Big Blue Bubble, the company who makes My Singing Monsters and various other games, has their headquarters located in Canada. When I found out the address, I was shocked to hear it was less than a few hundred kilometers away from me, meaning a few hours of driving and I'll be there. But I don't have a car yet, so that was my first problem. The second thing I thought of was just use the train, so I bought tickets for a round trip to London. About a week later, it was time for me to get on the train, where my parents dropped me off at the train station, and I was on my way. I've never been on a train alone, and I've never taken the fancy kind that you have to book tickets for. I wasn't really nervous because I know if something goes wrong, like if I get off at the wrong time or wrong stop, I have money on me so I'll just buy food and find shelter till somebody finds me. I hop on the train and it looks so different compared to the public trains that I'm used to. I began recording on the train, but I had an aisle seat and it was dark out so it was pointless. So can I get the window seat? Sorry? Can I get the window seat? Fine. Okay. Fast forward a few hours of almost falling asleep and listening to Lil Yachty's latest album. I finally arrived at the London train station. I look down at my map and see the office is literally down the street from the station. I thought I'd walk over to it but it was like 10pm and I was already half asleep. I walked around the station for a bit because I have no clue where to go and I got a text from my brother saying he's here to pick me up. My brother is actually from the area so he had a place to stay for the few days that I was going to be in London. He picked me up and we immediately went to a local community centre to play some dodgeball. Why is this important to the story you may ask? Well, enjoy these clips of me playing and what I found in the community center. Oh, this is scary. Oh, this is, this is mad dangerous. Oh, ah! oh my gosh. Uh, <laughs> There's another slide. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I must have been in there for like... 10 minutes running around and let me tell you it was the most fun I had in a long time for something like that. They don't have very many of those play places where I live so this was already a win for this trip. Anyways after dodgeball we headed home and I went to bed because I knew I had a huge week ahead of me. The following morning I was left alone in his house for the day because my brother had work so I figured I would travel over to Big Blue Bubble's office that day. I checked out the map and the office was about a 2 hour walk from his house so since it was too cold for that. I decided to take the bus over, which was about a 50 minute ride, so I decided I'll just wait until my brother gets home to drive me over. But when he got home, he had other plans. Me and him went rock climbing with a friend. Let me tell you, these rock climbing walls, they were like twice the size of the ones that I have near me. I love rock climbing and it was just so amazing. Unfortunately, I got very tired and sore really quick, so I didn't really get the full experience, sadly. After rock climbing, we headed home to have some dinner and chill for the night, I think. I, I already forget. I'm writing the script like three days later. I already forget what happened most of these nights. Waking up the next day, my brother had to work from home. He also told me that we have to go out that day to run errands for work. In this case, I knew we'd be driving around the area, so I was assuming we'd go to the office building today. Sure enough, before we get to the boring part of the day, he drove me to the building. I made sure I recorded the entire moment. <laughs> I know. My brother was right though. There was no point of me even attempting to walk in. But there's more to the story later in the video. After that, we went to this amazing restaurant for lunch, which had a picture of something on their window. Literally. Anyways, I got a corn dog wrapped in crispy ramen noodles and on top spicy mayo and wasabi mayo. It was so good. My brother didn't finish it somehow, but he got a boring normal corn dog with potato on the outside instead. The corn dogs were so amazing, I should really visit this place more often. After lunch, we went to run some errands at Costco and some other places. Some normal things happened happened that night as usual made some burgers played some mario kart just chilling you know waking up the next day i was home alone once again and i thought today is the day i actually speak to someone who works at big blue bubble i walked the dogs i ate a leftover burger and i built up the courage to go downtown back to the office 
I check Google Maps and remember how long the bus ride is. So I had the bright idea before I head down there. What if I gave them a call to see if I could even get in there? I made sure to record the phone call and here's how it went. Thank you for calling Big Blue Bubble. We are a mobile game company that inspires worlds of creativity. Oh. Please leave your message after the tone. When done, hang up or press the pound key. Um. I think you should remove Sponge from my singing monsters. Uh.